Hi everyone, it's Four Corners, and welcome to a Ninjago Dragons Rising video. That's the first time we're saying that on the channel. It's officially not Ninjago United anymore, and we have a lot of new trailers and teasers to talk about, but I'm going to keep today's video very short, and I just want to talk about how I was writing some notes for a new 0.25 x speed analysis video, and when I was coming across a few things, I realized some things were just too big of a topic to cover in that video, and one of those things is that there will be a major time skip in Ninjago Dragons Rising and the potential exciting story results that we're gonna see from this. And the reason I say that is not just because Aaron is a kid in some shots and then he's preferably a teenager in some other shots, but also because in this shot where Aaron loses his entire family, that is pretty dark to this whole merged situation. This whole desert-like landscape that is merged alongside Ninjago City that's overlooking a brand new city from a brand new realm is very barren. But in another very similar shot that's framed very similarly, there seems to be a whole city in the place of that desert. Now this could easily be another angle, but I doubt that's the case here. I think the people between Ninjago and this brand new city have built new buildings and society is starting to merge together. Now the reason that's exciting is because a city in general takes like 50, 60 years to start building. And I doubt Ninjago is skipping time that far into the future. I expect maybe 10 years at the max. But it's exciting because think about this. The merge is the last time we see our main ninja together just fighting in their typical way. They're all together in the monastery and there's a new threat and they fight it together. That's pretty cool. However, this might be the last time we see that in the traditional way because something crazy happens in the merge. The whole screen fades to black after Aaron tells his little story. It flash forwards 10 years later and we don't know where all the ninja are. We know Lloyd's maybe in the monastery. We know Master Wu might be dead, but who knows where the other ninja are. We're going to be following Aaron and Sora through the story. And while other people might think, oh shoot, uh, that doesn't sound very interesting. We watched Ninjago for the ninja. I think that opens up some pretty epic moments because think about this. Lloyd, Sora, and Aaron are just going through their emotions and all of a sudden Jay comes to save the day through surprise. It kind of gives this godlike ambience to our ninja and a new sense of suspense because we never know when our favorite heroes are just going to show up out of nowhere. I'm really excited for Ninjago Dragons Rising because it's telling a completely different kind of story with Ninjago. It's very experimental and Dragons Rising being the whole title of the new show tells me that they have a plan, a big plan for the next couple of years in Ninjago. And I cannot wait to see where this goes. This season is probably going to be all right because it's the exploratory season we're in the beginning of the big master plan the writers have for ninjago but we'll see where it goes comment down below how excited you are thank you for watching and as usual i'll see you in the next one Bye bye